on Larry King Now, actress Abigail Breslin takes on Merrill and Julia in August, Osage County. I had a dream that I was going onto set and I forgot a line and Meryl Streep was like, just go. And get on, get off. Get off the set. The last time you watched yourself in uh, Little Miss Sunshine was when? So much of it went, you know, over my head because I was 10. And then <laughs> finally I saw it like two years ago and I was like, oh, oh, oh. Well, <laughs> plus, do teenagers still date or do you, I'll meet you at the corner? <laughs> well, what is oh, God. It? All next on Larry King Now. Welcome to Larry King Now. Our special guest is Abigail Breslin. She first stole our hearts as Olive Hoover in Little Miss Sunshine, was nominated for an Academy Award for that role at the age of 10. Abigail is now 17, aging, and starring alongside some of Hollywood's greatest actors in August, Osage County, a great movie. Saw it last week, a great movie. The likes of Beryl Streep and Julia Roberts, to name a few, are in this film. August Osage County, about a highly dysfunctional family, to say the least, brought together by a tragedy. It opens Christmas Day. You cannot miss it. Did you see the play? I actually uh, did not see the play. I was uh, like 10 or 11 when it was on Broadway, and so it was kind of... Uh, above you. Above, <laughs> right over the head, I think. <laughs> True that you didn't think you got it? Oh, God, no. No, I didn't think at all. Well, I auditioned for it, and I had like 103 degree fever and I had been filming in Toronto a movie and so my mom drove me uh, down to New York for it and I got there and I read it and I was really sick and um, but I really loved the the character a lot and I loved the script and so I just kind of did it and um, and then I left and I didn't find out until about four months later that I got it so I was fairly certain that there was no chance that I got it. Did you ever find out why it took so long? Um, no, I think that they were just piecing together everything and John Wells, the director, just wanted to make sure that everybody really worked um, well as a family together. So I guess that's what it was, but it was pretty nerve wracking. It's a marvelous, you shot in Oklahoma, right? Oklahoma. <laughs> Did you, you, is it true you love auditioning? Um, yeah, in a sense, in a sense, I do, because I think that, you know, once you go in there and you're in the room and you're auditioning, it's, I mean, it's your part for however long you're in there, so you might as well True. make the most of it. <laughs> yeah, you might as well make the most of it. And, um, yeah, I kind of, so I like it for that reason, but it is always nerve-wracking. I am told that you had a terrible dream the night before the first day of shooting. What did you dream, Abigail? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I did. I had a dream that I was going onto set and I forgot a line and Meryl Streep was like, just go. And get on, get off. Get off the set. And then I just like, you know, cried and left. But thank God that did not happen. She's so nice. No, Meryl's a great girl. I spent so nice. A, I spent some time with her, including a train trip once for three and a half hours from okay. Washington to New York. She's a terrific person. Such a nice person. The only person she's never played is Meryl Streep. She's done everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's so What's good. it like for you? You you were nominated at age ten, but you're still very young, mm -hmm. not in college yet. No. To work with people like Chris Cooper, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts is your mother. Meryl Streep. What was that like for you? Um, it was really nerve wracking. It was really really nerve wracking. I was pretty. Uh, pretty terrified to go into it, um, but once I got on the set and everybody was really, really just so nice to me and so welcoming and, um, and just really wanted to do the best movie they could, and so it was, it was really, it was amazing. Um, and then to just sit there and be watching them and just be like, wow, I can't believe I'm actually watching all of these actors right now on set. It was like three months of acting school. Did anything, of, it's a dark, it's not a, I, they're billing it as a comedy, I, I saw it, it's, if it's a comedy, it's a dark, dark, dark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's about some very 
offbeat subjects as Tracy Letts often deals with. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult for you at all? Um, the subject matter. Yeah, it's definitely difficult. Um, my character, Jean, is um, kind of going through a really weird time in life. 14, She's right? 14. Um, so a little bit younger than me, but I remember that vividly because it wasn't too long ago. And, um, tough age. It is a really tough age. It's a really weird age, I think, when you're 14, because you're not really, an, you know, you're not really a full-blown teenager, but you're not a kid anymore, and you're expected to be really mature, but you can't do anything that really requires maturity. So it's kind of unfair, and it's kind of a weird age. So she's definitely going through a really hard time, and that was, um, that was, that was fun to do. That was fun to work with, um, but it was definitely challenging. And yeah. in that desolate country, right? Where'd you, where'd you live in? Buses? Where'd you stay? In <laughs> we lived in cardboard boxes. No, <laughs> um, no, we stayed in um, we stayed in this condo complex, all of us together, and um, there were just these mini, like little townhouses. And I was in between Margot Martindale and Merrill Street, and that was pretty crazy. You know, you just mm. walk outside your door and you see like Merrill Street unloading groceries, and you're just like, hey. It was crazy, it was crazy. How did you get to be 10 and get a part in that movie? In Little Miss Sunshine, how'd you, what um, were you doing at 10? <laughs> you taped <laughs> tiddlywinks, what were you doing at 10? <laughs> um, what was I doing at 10? Um, I, I actually auditioned for Little Miss Sunshine the first time when I was, I think it was five or six when I first auditioned for it. And then it kind of went away and then, um, Jonathan and Valerie, the director, saw me on a talk show and um, wanted to meet with me. And then they met with me and they just gave me the part. So it was kind Great. of That was thing. a fun movie. It was a really fun movie. So how did you get into this business that young? Were you, did you have a doting mother who took you around? <laughs> um, my brother was an actor before I was. And then when I was like five, I guess the story is that I, like, was supposed to, um, I, some, my brother's agent at the time called and said, can, can Abby audition for this movie? Because I don't have anybody to send in on it, and it's, um, it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie, and it's called Signs. And my mom was like, oh, Abby's really shy. I don't think that she's really into that type of thing. And I was mm -hmm. five, and so she came into my room and was just like, Abby, do you want to audition for a movie? And apparently, I, w I was like brushing my doll's hair, and I was like, yes, I'm ready. And, um, did you like it right away? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, yeah, I did like it a lot. I liked it a lot. Coming up, Abigail on the role that put her on the map. Plus, she sounds off on her contemporaries. Stay with us. The last time you watched yourself in uh, Little Miss Sunshine was when? Oh boy, I actually saw it on TV about two years ago and it was really hilarious to watch because the last time I'd seen it I was 10 years old and so much of it went you know, over my head because I was 10 and then <laughs> finally I saw it like two years ago and I was like, oh, oh, oh. How, how have you dealt with, a lot of people have had problems uh, in the business too much too soon, child star, Many child stars had a rough time later on in adulthood. How have you dealt with being um, known and getting all these great shots? Well, I've been really lucky um, that I have, you know, a really great family and really good friends, and I live in New York City, so it kind of keeps me, you know, when I'm not working, I'm just hanging out with my friends, and I've... But you were homeschooled, right? I was homeschooled. So n not many people are raised this way. Um, yeah, I guess so. Both of my brothers were, were homeschooled as well. Um, but I, I was kind of, you know, all throughout high school, kind of, I was friends with a bunch of kids from another high school in New York, and then we just kind of all hung out, and um, even though I didn't go to the school. And it was great, and I've, I, I mean, it's never been something where I've, I've been too worried about going off the grid or anything, because my family keeps me really kind of saying. Now, you were recently, uh, uh, I didn't know this, you recently posed close to topless in a photo shoot. Some people got angry at that. You had a bed sheet wrapped around you. What was the occasion? What were you shooting? Um, well, I wasn't topless. That's a big 
misconception. Um, I, I was completely covered the whole time. Um, I did it, the photographer is Tyler Shields, who's a really good friend of mine, um, one of my best friends, and he's a great photographer. I did a movie with him a year ago, and um, and he's, he's great. I mean, we just kind of did it because I love shooting with him and any opportunity I get to what shoot with him. What was the shoot for? It was really just for nothing. It was just because we wanted to do a shoot. Was the reaction overblown? I think it was. I think it was, personally, I do, because I think that, you know, there's a headline that just came out saying that I was topless, even though I wasn't, and... How'd your family react? I mean, my family all saw the photos, and my mom was there when we shot it, and it wasn't like some weird thing. Um, and so, yeah, I think that if there hadn't been that type of headline just put out that wasn't true, it wouldn't have been yeah. as big of a reaction. Are your brothers still in the business? My brother, uh, Spencer, is, yeah, he's, um, he's an actor and a writer and a director and a singer-songwriter. Um, he just finished his album, and my brother, Ryan, is a producer, so, yeah. That's, so it's a house of show business. It, 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 it has turned into a house of yes. show business, yeah. Do you, are you concerned when you see some of your contemporaries, people with a great deal of talent, who suddenly have problems as they get into a little more mature age, the problems of the Lindsay Lohans and the Justin Biebers and admitted talents, Miley Cyrus, who seem to go off the bend. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's like, it's it's just very different from from what I am and, and what I do. I mean, I, I just am like a typical, you know, 17-year-old girl. You're not I a just, typical 17. I know. I ah. feel it. It's true. It's true. I feel like I am. And then I just happen to do movies, and it's really cool that I get to do that. Um, so that's kind of how I see it, and I just like doing that. And I feel like, you know, I'm really lucky to do that, and I want to keep doing that. And so there's... I wouldn't want to do anything to Harm jeopardize that. that. Mm -hmm. So you're very protective of what you've got. Right. Exactly. Exactly. What college are you going to go to? I want to go to the new school. Have yeah. you applied? I'm starting to apply now. I'm just finishing up all it's that. It's a great school. Shouldn't be hard for you. With I hope not. Got a pretty good resume. Terrified. Oh, gosh. But yeah, no, as you long as backup? I like my grades. Do I have a backup? Um, NYU? NYU, maybe, maybe. I always wanted to go to Notre Dame, but um, I don't know if I want to move that far away from New York. Irish Catholics. <laughs> Coming up, Abigail on Arnold. Hey, we'll be right back. <laughs> We're with Abigail Breslin. You will see her uh, Christmas Day. Strange movie to open Christmas Day. <laughs> this movie has, it's a real wild movie. It is August, uh, Osage County, by the way. I ran into the other night at dinner, Harvey Weinstein, who's an old friend who published my last two books, who loved you. Aww. I told him when I was taping you this week, and he just loved your performance, and he... Oh he's gosh. great producer, Harvey. Yes, he's amazing. That's so sweet. Uh, what about you and Arnold Schwarzenegger? What's what, Maggie is the name of the movie? Mm -hmm, yeah. What, what is it about? Um, I just finished filming it, um, and it's 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 about kind of just a world that where there's like a um, a zombie virus taking over, and so I am a girl who's bitten by the zombie virus, and it's it's very dark actually, and it's not your typical zombie movie. It's um, more about disease and the isolation of of that and, um, and who Arnold plays who my dad my dad what was it like to work with him it was great it was awesome I I loved working with him he's such a nice guy um he's awesome in the movie and uh yeah it was it was really cool do you I, like I hear you like horror movies right I do I do <laughs> what kind of makeup did you have as a zombie um the makeup was kind of an untraditional zombie makeup. Meaning. It was, um, it wasn't necessarily bloody and gory. We used a lot of like eye contacts. Um, we had different stages, used a lot of um, airbrushing um, for veins and, um, and wounds and scabs. So. Where'd you shoot? New Orleans. What was it like to see yourself as a zombie? Um, it was pretty, it was pretty, um, it was interesting. I mean, I thought that it was just going to be really, really cool. Like, I just love it. And th that was, there were certain times when I just saw it and I was like, whoa, this is really cool. Um, but it was, um, it was, it was pretty, 
you know, sometimes it was, it got really, because it is a really, the, the subject matter of the film is really dark, and um, it was sad sometimes. Um, it got a little bit emotional sometimes. When will we see it? Um, I think next year at some point. We don't have, like, a release date Did you yet. call him Governor or Arnold? Um, I... Because once you're Governor, you're always Governor. Right. He just told me to call him Arnold, so... <laughs> did I, you talk did. politics? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What's been your ch most challenging role to date? Is it, is it August? Um, August was definitely challenging. It was different from anything that I'd done. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty challenging for sure, just to tap into all the different um, layers of the character and the story. Um, and then the movie I did, Maggie, with Arnold, was pretty challenging as well. You're into music too, right? Yes. Much sing? Like my album. Yeah, yeah, I sing, I write all the songs, play guitar. You got an album coming? I've got, yeah, an album that I'm working on right now, and I have the song out on iTunes right now. What's it called? It's called Christmas in New York. And, uh, I, I think I know, is that an old song? No, I wrote it. Oh, you I wrote, wrote it. it? I wrote it while I was filming August S. H. County. Christmas in New York. Christmas Great. in New York. Good idea for a title, good idea for a movie. But, yeah, there you go. Do you date? Do I date? Well, 17 year olds <laughs> begin to date, right? At 16, 17. Um, yes. Do, they, do teenagers still date, or do you, I'll meet you at the corner? Well, what is oh, God. My, my son is 14. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's a good-looking kid. Okay. My son. I got two sons, 14 okay. and 13. 13 is still like a little baby, but the 14. 14. 14's a turning point. He's a killer. Sure. He's a killer. He's a killer. You got to watch out for that. But he goes out, he goes out. Where are you going? I'm going to Beverly Drive. Whoa, I don't know. We hang out. Yeah, you, that's a big thing, the hanging out. Do you hang out? I hang out with people all the time. I hang out with, yeah, I, I hang out with people. Do you have a boyfriend? Do I have a boyfriend? Oh, boy. Um, that's easy. Yes, <laughs> that, that's hard. I, I hang out. I hang out. But you don't have a, you have a boyfriend. I hang out. I hang out with people a lot, you know, some people more than others. <laughs> yeah, why not? Are you you're too young to look for romance? I mean, like a serious romance. You're not going to. I got. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I think, but I think I've discovered something here, Abigail. You're a good actress. I'm a good actress. Thank you. I appreciate You've that. You've given yourself away. I've given myself away. You know what I like? You know what I like? I like, um, I like watching romantic movies. Do you see movies where you say, I'd love to do that part? Um, I see movies a lot, and I never think to myself, like, oh, wow, I wish I could have done that, because I'm always, like, enamored with the people that have done it, and I'm like, wow, they did such a great job with that, so I would never want to try to recreate anything. Abigail will answer your questions after the break, and we'll play a little game of If You Only Knew. That's next. We're back with Abigail Breslin. You will see her Christmas Day, starting Christmas Day, in August, Osage County. It's one of the best movies of the year. You will not forget this movie. In fact, I intend to see it again. Thank you. Well, we talked about Chance. He's 14. Yes. Right. Here's a picture of Chance. Very, very good looking. Okay, right. Very handsome. Will I have trouble with him? You will. I think definitely. <laughs> yeah. I think definitely. We got a little heartbreaker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, you played Helen Keller? in an off-Broadway production of The Miracle Worker. That's a great play. It was on-Broadway, yeah. On-Broadway, great play. On Broadway. Thank you, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was a really cool play. Who played the lady who taught her? Alison Pill. You have a good time doing it? I did, it was, it was difficult. I got a lot of injuries from it, mm -hmm. but. Um, Cause you had to be blind and. Yeah, I hit a, a knife in rehearsal once and then I had to get stitches. Still have a scar, a little battle wound. Do you like theater <laughs> as much as film? I do like theater a lot. I learned a lot from theater. I thought I think that it was a really good experience to have, and I, I want to do it again, but it's challenging. Couple of social media questions for you. Cool. At Awkward Ninny tweets, what was the best part about filming August Osage County? Um, the best part about filming it was probably just getting to work with the cast and John Wells and um, everybody a part of it and just kind of watching them, and, and it was a really surreal thing. That was, that was probably the best part of it. Maria Xavier Larrera on Facebook wants to know what it was like working with Halle Berry, Jodie Foster, and Catherine Zeta-Jones. You were with Abigail, uh, you starred with Halle in The Call, with Jodie in Nims Island, and with Catherine in No Reservations. Um, they were all incredible, all very different, um, but all really, really nice to me. And um, 
obviously incredible actresses, but also just really good people in real life. And so that was that was an awesome thing to get to work with. You've had, you got quite a resume. At Seventeen. <laughs> I've been very lucky. Starting at five. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> at Ahmad El Magbari via Twitter, what's the most important thing you've learned from Little Miss Sunshine to August Osage County? Those seven years. Those seven years. Um, I think that the most important thing that I've learned is that, um, well, one of the most is just that whatever you do, you have to be really connected to it and very passionate about it. And I think that that makes all the difference in like, your performance and, and how you feel about the movie is that as long as you feel like you really, really care about the project that you're doing, that's really important to me. Okay, we finish with a little thing we call If You Only Knew. I just okay. throw some questions out. Who's the first boy you kissed? Oh my God. Um, <laughs> I can tell you my first on screen kiss. No, you, who was the first? <laughs> Why is that? Oh boy, this is very embarrassing. Why? It's not, I just... Um, you remember his name? It was in, it was in a movie. <laughs> you were in a movie? I was in a movie. Who was he? It was um, Jake T. Austin. Who? <laughs> I'm just totally telling you now. Okay. Jake T. Austin. Okay, what okay. was it like? Tracy Jake. Austin? No, Jake T. Austin. Jake T. Austin. <laughs> Great guy. <laughs> okay. Great guy. Okay. <laughs> Celebrity crush. Celebrity crush. Um, always been Zac Efron. Loved him. What keeps you up at night? What do you worry about? I worry about bugs. <laughs> I, bugs? I, bugs. I have a fear that bugs are going to be in my bed. That's what, really like it's big really bugs, like little bugs? Big bugs, yeah. Do bugs scare you? Bugs terrify me. Terrify me. And actually, in the last movie I did, I had to have maggots on my arms. Have you been in Florida and seen palmetto bugs? No. I don't want to. Uh, don't. Don't want uh, to. Instagram or Vine? Instagram. Favorite actor of all time? Oh, gosh. Actor, I really like, you know what? I'm Ryan Gosling. Not bad. <laughs> Actress whose career you'd like to emulate? Oh, I mean, Meryl Streep is oh, not incredible. Not bad. Everybody well, in this movie, I would like to emulate their career. What's the biggest misconception about teenagers today? Okay. I think that the biggest Make misconception, yep, here we go. Um, <laughs> I think the biggest misconception is that teenagers are very, like, vapid. People think that a lot and that we don't really think about much or we're very self-centered. Self-centered, we can be self-centered, but I think that everybody's self-centered to a degree. And um, we actually think about so much, and that's why we get moody, is because we think about, like, all of the terrible things that could happen to us in the near future, and it's very terrifying. And it's no different whether you're just a teenage girl working at the soda malt shop or an actress. Um, you're all going through the same thing. We're all going through the same thing. Oh my gosh, I just call my, when I'm not, when I'm filming, I'll go home at night and I'll Skype my friends and we'll just sit there and just talk about our feelings for hours. Favorite horror movie of all time? Ooh, the Exorcist. What, are your, would you like to play that part? Um, sure, why not, YOLO. You're on a desert island. What three things would you want with you? Um, okay, desert island. I'd probably bring my iPod, or my iPhone, sorry, my iPhone, charger, and a boat. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Very good. If you weren't an actor or a musician, what would you be? Um, psychologist. I could tell. And finally, tell me something no one knows about you. Hmm. Um... Okay, I, my, my left ring finger doesn't straighten. And I'm double jointed. Good, show me. Oh no, don't. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. See what you just did? That's like bugs. Oh, really? Like bugs. I have too. many more tricks. <laughs> I just can't demonstrate now. Abigail, you're a doll. <laughs> Thank and you. And you're Thank a very you so talented much. young lady, and it's a great movie. Thank you. Thanks to my guest, Abigail Breslin. August, Osage County hits theaters Christmas Day. You will love it. You can find me on Twitter at King's Things. See you next time.